Previously on Delos. Goodbye, Africa, and welcome, Southern Atlantic. With 30 knots of wind and big swell, the crew gets really seasick. We are now over halfway done with our 1,400 nautical mile passage to St. Helena. And the crew is definitely starting to feel better. Okay, so it's um, 10 to 7 at the moment and this is why I love um, the 6 to 8 slot because you get to see the changes of the ocean as the sun repairs to rise. Looks so good. Good morning! <laughs> so when other people are dressed up in woolly hats, fleeces, jogging bottoms, Alex Blue, she's got half a kit off. <laughs> I just got out of bed, mate. <laughs> a little bit of a cloudy day today, but it's nice. Everybody is awake. Lisa's at the bow, she's having her watch up there. Hello! How is the bow? Oh, it's awesome. It's like you're flying over the ocean. It's so nice. beautiful. It's so nice when the boat is moving up, when the wave is coming from behind. You're so high, and then you're going down again. And you think you can touch the water with your feet, but I think I've got two short legs for that. <laughs> nice, nice. out there but beautiful oh, shit <laughs> it's so hard to walk around man it's difficult to put your pants on <laughs> give me a couple I'm getting used to the rhythms yeah feeling good now I'm gonna eat some rotten fruit I have the three hour shift today so I'm kind of happy about that because it's absolutely lovely out here like sailing on good, the fishing lines are out and I'm just been staring at the ocean and it's absolutely amazing. It's almost like staring into a fire, like that kind of calming state of mind I guess. I love sailing, ocean sailing, it's cool. And Lisa is cooking lunch downstairs so I'm very excited about that. She's it's my cooking yeah. day today. Yes. And Elizabeth uh, was so kind to offer me some help. Oh. <laughs> Don't touch my lens. Don't um, play with the food, Elizabeth. I'm not playing. Put the cucumber down. <laughs> Typical day in the office. What's your style today, mate? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh. <laughs> it's like crocodile dandy. There's so much stuff in the reflection of your lens. I don't know, man. Stripper crocodile dandy. I, I, I was I just saw it and I put it on because I didn't want my hair to be out and open today. <laughs> I'm working. Leave me alone. Found a carrot that looks like a finger. Ew, it does. Uh, uh, 
Ew, don't touch my camera lens with it. You have seen the second size cake come up before? Oh. I'm about oh, to show made. you. Whoa. Lisa's gonna kick you out of the kitchen in a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna make some hummus for the family um, and with some vegetables to dip the hummus and maybe some toasted bread for lunch. That's it. How do you do the hummus? Uh, chickpeas, tahini paste, olive oil, maybe a bit of water. I'm gonna see if I'll get some lemon juice. Salt, pepper, cumin, uh, coriander, uh, garlic. I need some fresh garlic. Yeah, I think that's it. Yummy. Mm. Wow. Oh, yummy. A very garlic hummus. I like garlic. Good? Very nice. So we have gone since leaving Walvis Bay, 708 nautical miles. And we have 516 miles to go. Nice. Pretty sing us a song. Fish on, maybe. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. I am just a fish. I am just a fish. He lost the My banana bread overrose. Why? Probably because I did too good of a job making it, I think. Is it? It fucking was this big and then started baking and of course fell down into the baking pan. It's the remnants of stuff down in there mm -hmm. that needs to Shame. work itself out. You're so domestic. Just don't make them like they used to, huh? <laughs> Pirates cooking bread. Pirates cooking banana bread. Sorry? Gotta take care of my bitches. <laughs> again so I'm pretty stoked about that. Oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Man, Jesus that looks perfect. That's oh a my god. Loaf of banana bread, mate. Mmm. Have a good bite. Mm -hmm. Give me this to Brian. Yeah. Do it. Well done mate. Mm -hmm. Hello everybody. It's now one o'clock in the morning. There is a boat uh, behind us. Um, it's called From Tu, from the Marshall Islands. It's a huge tanker. It's over 200 meters long. And I can see the lights on the horizon. And That's something uh, new for me to work with later in the night and I really enjoy it. And I just wanted to share that with you. The wind has really calmed down and it's just, the sails are just flopping around. It's like really, I don't know, frustrating a little bit, but we're still going like over, I don't know, averaging three, four knots. It's fine, but oh, I'm pretty tired now though. Oh, Harry. Um, I'm excited to go to bed get some rest. Good morning. My uh, day has been started off really well already because Mr. Brady is cooking me breakfast. Yeah. Hot. Wow. Oh. So 
so good. Who are you talking to out here, crazy lady? Are you going to do push-ups today? And sit-ups. Yes, she is. Me too. They're gonna be ripped by the time we get to Brazil. Seven, come on, son, you got it. Come on. Eight, nine, ten. One more, one more. Kaza's not one even more. impressed. Wait, look at her over there. Nice. Kaza, look at your man getting Whoa, ripped over here. I'm so impressed. <laughs> yeah, I'm so proud of you, Brian. You try and do sit-ups on a rolling boat, mate, in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> No shame. He's snickering at down there, mate. <laughs> Three. You got this. Four. Get it, Luke, get it. Five. Oh. There you go, all the way down. <laughs> oh, nine. Ten. Your yeah, ass is looking great, by the way. The crew, one by one, are slowly going insane by their passage at sea. We have news from the outside world. Last night, a member of the Watch, who shall remain nameless, was seen dozing during the night watch. Who shall remain nameless, was caught <laughs> dozing during watch. Everything blew up. The world has ended. Trump led us all to annihilation, and now only green pastures and small farming communities exist. The world is now generally more relaxed, and the people have awoken. Just kidding. The Cheeto in Chief is still here, repping America. Everything good with releases. Blah, 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 blah. Your phone has also arrived. I preloaded it with a ton of shit of... I preloaded it with a ton of shots of my scrot and butthole. <laughs> You're out of memory already. <laughs> Sorry, bruh. Call if you need anything. Matthew Douay. Bum, bum, bum. Hello. So, it is our sixth sunset out here, and it's a good one. And this is the view right now. It's pretty good. Brady's making a burrito. Ooh. Really excited for that. Chicken burrito. It's done, it's ready. People are eating. I had a major blowout. <laughs> Brady got too ambitious. Mm, <laughs> that's not, a sign Ooh. of things to come, maybe. I think you can handle it. Do you like it, Liz? Wow. This is so yummy. It's really, really good. Best meat in two days. Yeah. Who's counting me? <laughs> Do, yeah, yeah. Do you eat a lot of burritos in England? Usually? No. Yeah, These are the most burritos I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I'm not even lying. What's the problem over here? Okay, let's go. Yeah. The capsicums are moldy. <laughs> so when you eat them, you just the capsicum. <laughs> you get the, um, the off mold, the taste right? of the mold. People, so you should eat them with something else uh, in there probably. Yeah. So our food's starting going moldy. Mm -hmm. We're pulling out fruit and veg. We're like, what? And it's just crumbling in our hands. And we've been at sea for six days. Do you eat a lot of mold in England usually? No. What? Do, what do you think I am? An insect? <laughs> I would like to know how much hair we eat on the boat. A lot. A lot, Probably right? A lot. Yeah. We eat a fucking lot of hair. I found hair in my banana bread this morning. Yeah, Imagine I pulled hair out of my pasta that? today. The ones you don't find. Really? Right? Yeah. <laughs> I, put a, I put a lot of hair in that pasta. What well, no, kind you. of hairs? Oh. Oh. Okay. You know when you start it's coming to the end of day six and the wind has died off but in other news the temperature is getting just had my first complete watch shirtless that's a pretty big milestone no more cold weather well I don't want to say that but at least it's warm for now <laughs> Good night. 
I've got the honor to have the, uh, to be on watch um, while we will cross uh, the longitude in a couple of minutes from east to west. Ooh! One. West! We made it! So cool. I feel very honored. <laughs> oh man, guys, I don't know. This night is really special. At the moment I've got this rush of joy in my heart. And the Milky Way is brighter and clearer than I've ever, than I've ever, ever seen it. It's so intense and so beautiful. I still can't believe that I'm here somewhere in the South and Atlantic. How crazy. That's really crazy. Wow. Good morning. It's about seven in the morning. I'm watching a really good sunrise right now. It's super pretty, the whole sky is cloudy and then just where the sun's coming up, it's breaking through the clouds and yeah. Just thinking about how special it is that I get to wake up here on this boat and come out and start my day like this. So different. It's so peaceful, it's crazy. How's it feel, Blue? Oh, the water's so nice. Jumping off Delos into a 2,000 meter deep swimming pool is an incredible experience. It never gets old, no matter how many times you do it. And if it's your first time, well, prepare to have your mind blown. Plus, we hadn't showered in a few days, and it's a great way to get the sailor funk off your body. Come on in, Elizabeth! <laughs> jump, jump! are awesome today and we've got about a 10 to 15 knot breeze sort of coming out of the southeast over the back of the boat so we're gonna put up one of our favorite sails it's called the mizzen ballooner and it's the sail that kind of sits between the main mast and the mizzen mast and it's like a very small asymmetrical spinnaker and it's way cool so you ready Lisa yes. all right Let's see if we can remember how to do this so first thing is we need to dig it out of the locker So I'm gonna prevent it out if you wanna ease the ease the main sheet, we'll move the main turn out. Some people slay, I live a dreamer's life. Be the brave, the rat race is hard to fight. Barefoot paradise. So give me substance, give me life, give me sunshine of sweet starlight. It's a day of playing with cameras. We can take this up the foil for the head sail and we'll try and get some shots of the boat Ooh. from a little bit different angle, which I think would be cool. Yes! Are you ready, Ninja? Yeah! Let's, Let's do, do this! It. Yes! Ryan. 
I'm gonna do a little drone flying with the Mizzen Ballooner up. Something we've never done. The furthest from land we've ever flown the drone. Really? Are you ready, brother? Yeah. All right, ready to power up? Power up. Open ocean drone shop. There's one thing that I know This is my playground This is where I was told I could grow old And if there's one thing that I'll say Life is a journey We're all steering it slowly I've been nervous, baby It's just hard to predict when those rolls I mean, it doesn't look like much But a meter or two It'll roll one way and that can jam your hand up into the drone or jam the drone down into the boat. Mm. So I think we'll just get it at a certain level and slowly bring it in and then I can reach out and grab it. Shit. It was going somewhere not good. Oh. <laughs> Woo. Okay. <laughs> it's so fucking sketchy. That was probably the most intense catch I've had. Good catch, though. Good flying, bro. Are you ready for your watch, Kaza? Now we're gonna sit here, watch the sunset, and listen to my book. A few hours, have some dinner. This but this could be something delicious, I think. Mmm, she made us some pretty good cake today, huh? Mm. Yep. Some kind of English cake of sorts. Let's have a look. Making a really nice English pudding just because I feel it'd be nicer in one day. You said this is a Queen Victoria cake. Uh, no, it originally was a Victoria sponge and then because uh, the raisins and some extra jizz jazz got put in. Jizz it is jazz. Jizz jazz. It is now <laughs> officially a spotted dick. That's it's called, but I was really worried that it wasn't going to rise, but... I'm cool, I'll take that. Yum. <laughs> Yummy. Pretty sunset! It's a beautiful sunset. Yeah. It's giving me power to play. Look at those corpuscular rays. Wow. It's giving me power to play the ukulele. Ready? And... So it's 10 to 2 uh, in the morning. Oh, just look at this. We are now so, so close. I, I'm excited to get there, but at the same time, I've been so enjoying this passage. It's been a huge challenge, um, a great challenge. And I've enjoyed every second of it, just spending time with the crew. And um, it's so incredible being just surrounded by endless blue. Yeah, you feel very free out here. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, concentrate in the last 10 minutes of my watch. Peace out. Um, my watch actually ended about half an hour ago, but I'm just enjoying myself out here too much right now to give it up. <laughs> so I'm letting Brady sleep in a little bit. Um, yeah, wow, today was so good. I think it was one of my favorite days on Delos so far, if, if not my favorite. And jumping in the ocean, oof. Yeah, 
It's a good taste of things to come. Okay, <laughs> that's a first. A flying fish just landed in the cockpit. Oh, crazy. All right, I'm gonna try and save him. Ow. I got her. Safe. I've never had a flying fish land in the cockpit before. Oof, crazy. Up next. After eight and a half days at sea, we arrive in St. Helena. Get checked in and start exploring. Okay, go! I'm going on the wrong throat. The wrong throat. <laughs> piece I get if I act like I'm working. Brian, all you have to do to make it hot, darling, is put your little finger into it. I have something else I could tell you, but I will refrain. No, don't dip that thing into it. See, it's pretty rolly. I'm feeling pretty sorry for Napoleon right now. It must look like a Victoria's Secret model. It must look like a Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> What your shirt say? No one cares. <laughs> Brian? Brian? Anyone? Hello? Hello? Everybody Jack Lasby's. God damn it! 